Welcome back to the ICF Mountain House build. I can tell you a little story. Once upon a time, there was a man named Stan. This man wasn't just any man. Stan was a tile man. Stan the tile man wasn't just any tile man. Stan had earned a reputation as being the best tile man in all the land. In this episode, we're gonna watch Stan the tile man build us a couple custom curbless showers, lay down some floor tile, I want to thank Sandra at Southern Cross Tile in Statesville, North Carolina for helping us out on this. If you're in North Carolina and you need a custom shower or backsplash or any kind of tile work done, give Sandra a call at Southern Cross Tile and she'll hook you up with Stan, the amazing tile man. Let's go watch Stan build us some showers. Yeehaw. Where do you want your drain? Wherever you put it. So it's either here or there. It's you got there. more room to slope that way if you do it there, right? Yeah. I don't know. I really don't care. It's up to you. Okay. <laughs> I was going to put it there. Huh? Do it. That was my intentions all along. But all right. That'll split. That'll make everything on the two sides equal. Okay. These bees really like this concrete. And I think they sit here and they drink from the condensation. My floor. Yes, I did. <laughs> uh, Stand the man just broke my floor. This is how you do a curbless shower. You got to take the subfloor off to set your pan down in flush with the subfloor. It's all blocked, blocked in, and uh, ready to set the pan. Fancy drain kit. Cool. That's not gonna move. No, sure. <laughs> we hope not. That's pretty neat. That will work there, just exactly where the drain is now. Got to move the thermostat wire from here over to here, ish, because we're gonna put niches in here 
So I'm gonna move that over there. Well, that's a cool saw. This one will get you. Yeah, that looks like it'll get you. I've got a couple friends. If you don't hold on to it, it'll kick back on you. I got a couple friends that's got scars across the way. That's it, man. How are we making out? Just about got this one in. Cool. Close, 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 close. Okay. Now we're starting on the shower nooks or niches or whatever you call them. So we'll put a 28 inch wide niche there. And that's this Schluter panel here. And then I think we're going to take another one of these and customize it a little bit for the upstairs so we have three bays or three openings. All right, getting the backer board down. Cut to size. Got to screw it down where everywhere there's an X. And then we'll get the wall boards up. Backer board on the floor in the upstairs bathroom. Well, that's ready to go. I moved the thermostat wire from there to there. All right, man, we should be all boarded up today. All right, waterproofing is on to all of the seams. Seems to look good, but the inspector will be here tomorrow to water test it, flood test it, they call it. And then uh, when he gets us to go ahead, start putting some tile on. Floating the duck. So we got the pan done, everything's waterproofed. Filled it with some water so the inspector can come and make sure everything's good. And the duck floats, the shower doesn't leak. Getting ready to start laying tile on the floor part. But we gotta wait for the inspector before we do the shower floor. So we're gonna be doing this. Got a little bit too much water. Gonna be doing this part, and here's the tile. Tile that looks like wood. Could have gone to the creek, but went to the store instead. <laughs> So those will be the, uh, the background, I guess you call it, to the little shower nook things. And some more over here. They're nice and smooth. Pretty cool. So we're getting all the stones put in the nooks first. Get those set. So it's like all one piece to set into that yes, sir. opening. Well, that's smart. It won't sag and yeah. fall off and stuff. Yeah. Good gravity do the work. Heck yeah. Cool. All right, so Stan has just finished, uh, I guess, roughing in the whole area here. And 
if people aren't familiar with like the Schluter system and the uh, Curdy board and all that kind of stuff, I mean, we used a diff kind of a combination of all kinds of things here. So what all do we have going on here? We've got uh, basically a standard backer board for the floor that you would use for a tile. Uh, quarter inch, right? Yeah, it's perma base. Okay, so then we put, what's the uh, shower pan we used? What's that called? It's an arc, arc. true deck, and it, it's a, a curveless. Okay, and it's got that cool drain insert so you can rotate that insert and it kind of helps you locate your drain almost wherever you want. We did have to move the drain pipe a little bit because it was too close to a uh, floor joist, but other than that, it worked pretty good. And then it comes with like the gaskets and all the stuff you need and you just have to, you can cut your pan to size and put it in and it saves you all kinds of time having to lay down a bit of whatever that stuff was. It used to be mud or whatever. Yeah, rubber liner and a mud bed. Yeah. Well that and it can set, it's designed to go on floor trusses. Oh, okay, yeah, so you can. So you don't have to cut anything. It, it'll set directly on your trusses or floor joists and then it matches right up with your backboard. Or if you use an uncoupling membrane, it'll go with it. Okay. And then on the walls, we use the hydro band board. Now what's, uh, what's special about it? What makes it different than like this, this backer board cement stuff? Well, it's, it's waterproof. It's dense foam, it's waterproof on both sides. It's lightweight, you can cut it all right here in the bathroom. You don't have to go outside with a, with a grinder like yeah. we used to in the old days. And yeah. It's just a better product. Well, yeah, the other thing I noticed is when you were doing this uh, corner here, you were able to cut one side and just fold it to where you didn't have a, a cut seam right there in the corner. And that was kind of handy. Yeah. So that's one less seam you have to tape and waterproof. And then you went over it with a, some sort of, what's this blue liquid waterproof? I, on this one, I use the aqua defense on this one. Um, but just any kind of liquid waterproof membrane. Okay, and then you just go over it with that, what's that tape? That's, that's the ladder creek, uh, ladder creek tape. Is it like a fiberglass? type stuff it's, it's a it's a fiber something it's fiber something i don't, <laughs> I don't get that deep into it it's, yeah. it's just a waterproof tape i don't know if i've got any playing around here oh that's all right i'll just get a shot of that right there but that's a hydro band is made to go with that board i guess yeah yeah so then you put that on bed it and then make sure all your seams are waterproofed and, you're, and I do use the sluter stuff it works just as well right but i i, I prefer the hydro band Okay, so then this doesn't look like it's got much slope to it, but it is, and we got about a half an inch, three quarters of an inch of water in it, waiting on the inspector to come make sure it's not leaking. We had a little rubber ducky in there. I guess they like to see that. <laughs> but as soon as he comes and says, okay, you're good, then they can start doing the uh, inside of the shower. But until then, it looks like they're gonna start working on the floors. So I think we're good to go. Looking good. So I got, uh, I have this arrowhead that we found outside last year. Pretty cool. It's the only one I've found on this property so far. Of course, I haven't really been looking. I've been a little busy. But we're gonna put that in this nook right here, somewhere. And that's going to be uh, length, uh, horizontal in the downstairs shower. Cool.
14 and 7 eighths. 14 and 3 eighths. That's a nairn and a nairn and a nairn. <laughs> Is that three little lines and a big line? Yeah. <laughs> Can't do it. I can snap them all the way on. <laughs> I put some silicone on it and it slides a lot easier now. Yeah, well, we need to tighten up the knife a little bit. The other day, it's just a little bit too weak. Magic touch. Magic touch. All in the. <laughs> that one ready. Then you got to hold your mouth right. <laughs> I'm just using the wrong hand, like we said earlier. Ah, uh, doing the hard part now. Let's yeah, try. this is. Right. <laughs> Gotta do geometry. <laughs> That's cool. So this is why we hire a pro, using these long planks with that curbless base, making the cuts so that the drain slope works. That would have drove me crazy. The stand does it all the time. Looking pretty fancy. All right, we're upstairs and building the upstairs nook. We're extending this one from a two bay to a three bay. It's starting to look good. Okay, time for the beauty shot. I mean, the floor is a little dirty still because we're still drying the grout. But a couple hours would be good. Then we'll clean it up real nice. Look at this. better shower then we'll put some glass doors right there see how good they did with this cut man that's not easy to do the drain looks good the niche turned out freaking cool All right, so I just got to put some shower head in there, get me a commode, get the glass door guy up here to measure to do the doors for the shower. Then we got to build our vanities, put our sink in, and uh, bathroom should be done. Upstairs and downstairs. Stan, the magical tile man, did an amazing job. This turned out awesome. This curbless is definitely the way to go. I love it. We're ready for fixtures, glass, and then Stan will be back, Stan will be back when we do our backsplashes for the kitchen. Again, I gotta thank Southern Cross Tile Incorporated. Go check out Sandra's shop if you're in the Statesville area and you need some tile done. Pick out the tile you want and she will hook you up with Stan, the magical tile man for your house. That's going to do it for this one. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.